Never has a woman had such wild hair while living in civilised society. What is this? Why is this on my head? Today I am doing the typical girl tag, otherwise known as the common white girl tag. However, in the interest of keeping everybody in good spirits, I thought I'd change the name and make it a bit more politically correct. Basically, this is a tag full of questions that are supposed to define your life as a typical girl in Western society. I think most of them are about Starbucks drinks and Instagram, so I'm not too sure what that says about being a woman, but... So like, what is your favourite Starbucks drink? My typical order at Starbucks would be a white chocolate mocha with cream, but then I don't get a cake because I'm watching my figure. I'm also partial to a vanilla latte. Vanilla latte. So, how long does it take you to get ready in the morning? Uh, it depends on the kind of day I'm having, to be honest. Most days I work from home, um, which means that I don't come into contact with humans for the majority of the day. So most of the time I don't really make myself presentable for human sight which takes approximately 10 seconds. Uh, but if I'm actually doing something nice, then I'd say it takes me maybe half an hour. In, like, without a hair wash and stuff, my hair is quite a monster to wash because it's so thick. It is like a mane on my head. So with a hair wash and stuff, probably an hour. Um, but without, I'd, I'd go half an hour. But that is of course not including the breakdown I have when looking in my wardrobe for something to wear. The secondary breakdown I have when trying on outfits and realising that I look like a hippopotamus and the third breakdown I have when I look in the mirror thinking that I look alright and then seeing that I don't. So how many selfies do you take on a daily basis? Funnily enough not that many. I am not a very photogenic person because I have a moon face with zero definition to it. So I'm not particularly a selfie kind of gal. I take maybe one a week or something because I think when I'm old and I look back on myself, I would quite like a bit of documentation as to how much of a state I was looking through my early 20s. I do try to not take too many because I can't think of anything worse than being one of those girls that just tweet selfies all the time. God, we know what you look like. God. So, we can be friends, but like, how many Instagram followers and pictures do you have? When it comes to Instagram, I am a bit of a novice. Don't really know what I'm doing with it, to be honest. So I've got my phone here, and we're gonna have a look and see. If you would like to follow me on Instagram for lots of photos of cats and food, it's at Lucy Jane Wood. And I currently have 337 followers and 248 posts. So that's not very many, is it? Let's be honest. Do you ever say lol or omg out loud? All the time. Literally. It's probably one of my worst habits. I say lol out loud probably 10 times a day and every time I hear it come out of my mouth I want to hit myself in the face. Um, do you wear the same clothing item more than once? Ew. I am not ashamed to say that I sometimes wear the same pair of leggings for two weeks in a row. I am ashamed to say that. I don't know why I just admitted that. Okay, maybe not that long. <laughs> uh, but I do wear leggings for a good five or six days in a row. Ugh. But the important things I change on a daily basis. If we're talking about like party dresses and stuff, I try not to wear them again too close to each other. Because that's just a girl thing, isn't it? I always hear my friends saying like, oh, I can't wear that, I wore that last time. But I can't remember what they wore last time. And they probably can't remember what I wore last time. I don't know why girls worry about these things, but we do. So speaking of Twitter, how many tweets do you have? Ooh, let's get the phone out again and have a look. This one will be slightly more embarrassing because I am a Twitter fiend. If you'd like to follow me on Twitter, it's at Lucy Jane Wood. And I currently have 894 followers. So if you have to choose one, would you choose Instagram, Twitter, or Tumblr? I'm not so much a Tumblr girl anymore. A couple of years ago I was beyond obsessed and I used to go on it like 24 seven for like clothing inspiration and beauty inspiration and stuff. Uh, I don't really go on it anymore because it started to depress me because it was just filled with 15 year old girls who've all got thigh gaps and look like mermaids with legs. And 
that ain't me girl that ain't me Instagram I love because it's like the best time killer ever if you've got nothing to do if you're on a train or something just like swiping up like this for like six hours is just the most mind-numbingly wonderful thing ever but I'm gonna have to go Twitter I am a Twitter gal mainly because one of my favorite things ever is when you're watching reality shows like Made in Chelsea or The X Factor and just the constant snark for two hours from everyone just being horrible about people on TV is just gives me life. So what do you actually spend most of your time doing? Um, a bit of this. A bit of this. And a healthy dollop of this. Lucy, who are your favourite YouTubers? I've just gotta know. Oh, I don't know, there's too many. You're all wonderful. How often do you do your nails? Nails. Nails. Uh, when I can be bothered, maybe once a week or so. I don't like it to get too chipped, so if they're starting to look a bit messy, then I tend to uh, whip out the old remover and get going with the polish. Are you a shopaholic? <laughs> Uh, I used to be really bad. Going through uni, when you get a student loan and you just kind of get loads of free money spilt onto you, it's hard not to go and spend it, to be honest. And I wasted a lot of money through uni just buying crap. But now that I earn my own money and I have bills to pay and things like that, and I have to be friends with the tax man, I am not too bad anymore. But then when I do go, like once every three weeks or so, I can go a little bit cray, but that's okay. Everyone's got their vices. Mine are cheese-based snacking and shopping. Oh my god, how many times have you watched Mean Girls? A lot. So many. Oh my god, Karen, you can't just ask someone why they're white. Is butter a carb? You smell like a baby prostitute. Do you own a lot of clothes? I guess. Do you take pictures of your food before you eat it? Uh, if it's a particularly appetizing looking meal, then yes. But most of the time, I eat things that I'm too ashamed to show people. <laughs> so no. <laughs> do you wear makeup every day? To be honest, at the moment I do. Um, if I'm going through like a patch of good skin days, then I don't bother. Um, but at the moment my skin is just all over the place. So, like, even if I'm popping to the shops at the moment or whatever, I tend to put a bit of foundation on. Um, so yeah. I guess I do. What are your average grades in school? Well, the R is a were because I don't go to school anymore. All through school I got pretty much solid A's. But then at uni, in uni it was more like B's. YOLO! How do you usually style your hair? And finally, do you always look presentable? For anyone who couldn't understand my dodgy accent there, that word was presentable. And let's just look at what is in frame right now. And I think that answers the question. <laughs> so that is the end of the typical girl tag. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then chuck one of these my way. What? I don't know. I don't know. And I might even tag a few people to do this video because I don't haven't seen that many people doing it for ages. So I'll pop some names down there and yep. And I will see you guys soon.